I, mean, I think we just got to get back to, you know, just the fundamentals, getting back to the basics. Um, obviously, I pride myself on getting a lot of turnovers, but I also understand, you know, how these things work with the, the pressure uh, and, the, and the coverage being coordinated. Uh, we just got to get back to having fun and making plays, and I think that'll be a big key for us in this game. Do you ever have any issues with the COVID? Do you feel like you'll be able to get your, your condition to be back where it should be? Yeah, I mean, it was a weird deal because obviously I tested positive on Monday. My whole family actually tested positive as well. But I, I was asymptomatic the whole time. Didn't have any symptoms, but my family had mild symptoms. Um, but did some conditioning yesterday, the past couple of days, actually. And my wind's good. Don't think it'll be any issues. Your family okay? They yeah, they're good. Yeah. Uh, for about three or four days, they had some mild symptoms. Uh, kids had some fevers. My wife, hot flashes, nauseous. Lost her taste a little bit as well. But everybody's feeling good, doing better. Thanks for asking. Them. What'd you do Tuesday, Wednesday last week then when everybody was in here doing some work? Uh, Chill, I'm sitting at the house, <laughs> taking care of my family, just treated like a bye week, man. Had some had some good time off. Uh, just sat in the house, spent some family time together, and like you said, on Monday, obviously they got some work in as well. Uh, so Sunday and Monday, I got some work in on my own at the house, Peloton stuff like that, just to make sure I can shock my legs back. How important is that break mentally? It's very important. I think uh, even today, just being in meetings, I think guys are refreshed. I think we should have some good energy out here today at practice. I mean, you know, you play. But how many, how many games we played straight, 12 games, guys can get a little fatigued. But I mean, it's no excuse, but I mean, this is the facts. Uh, so hopefully today we'll have a lot of energy and, uh, you know, build that momentum throughout the week. You already Free. played this Jags team once. Uh, any benefits to that? Do you see any change offensively with, with this group? Maybe Trevor with a little bit more confidence? Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen too much of a change. Obviously, there's still, I mean, I know 25, Robinson, he's a little banged up, but I mean, he still is running hard, and high runs hard as well. Uh, Chenault's the guy they're going to try to get the ball to early and often, just getting the ball in his hands. They use him as a running back as well. Um, tight end's a little bit different because uh, 85, Arnold, he's out for the year. Um, but schematically, I mean, they're pretty much doing the same thing. And like you said, I think us playing them early in the year, uh, having that experience with those, experience with those guys and that personnel uh, should be helpful for us this week. Kevin, I mean, you get much experience so far with, with Golden? Have you seen much of them, or you know, even on the practice field or anything like that? Uh, I mean, just a little bit. Um, it hasn't been a whole lot, because I mean, a lot of times last week when he was in there, it was kind of more of a walk through, jaw through tempo. But I mean, he's a veteran. He's been doing this for a while. I actually played against him my rookie year when he was in Detroit. And I mean, obviously, he was their number one guy there. So I'm pretty sure he's catching up to speed with the playbook and everything. So hopefully, he has a chance to play this week or whenever he plays, I'm sure he'll be able to help us out a lot. Yeah, yeah Andy, this is, somebody would have told you before the year started, you have Julio Jones, Golden State, Adrian Peterson as teammates. Would you believe that? What's that kind of been like? It's almost come and gone. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been cool, man. I think that, you know, even before the season started, we kind of understood that we had a lot of good weapons out there on offense. I mean, we've had a lot of injuries as well. But um, hopefully, we'll have the whole game back together this week. and. uh. I know Julio's decided to be able to come back and try to make some plays for us. As Coach Brable talked to you guys a little bit about maybe getting a little more element of speed back after the bye that, you know, he, I, I think he kind of thought the team was slowing just a little bit. Right. Going into yeah, I mean, I think that's just the expectation. Um, coming off a of bye where you expect guys to be, you know, mentally refreshed and recharged and ready to go. So, I mean, obviously that's very good responsibility, but that's, I think I'm going to take that on myself as well, make sure guys are flying around this entire week throughout practice to make sure we have some energy. Um, because, I mean, obviously, two straight losses coming off a of bye week. I mean, the sky isn't falling. We're still, you know, second in the AFC. But uh, we definitely want to get off this two-game losing uh, little streak, I would say. And sort of for your, from your position, your standpoint, what does, you know, more speed, more energy lead to? Um, I mean, hopefully it will lead some turnovers. That's the main thing. I mean, on defense, leads lead some turnovers, guys flying around, playing with great vision, breaking on the ball, um, you know, just those type of things. But like I said, it's just, you know, it's just contagious. The energy guys flying around, whether it's on special teams, offense, defense, uh, that energy and that speed is contagious. Yeah. I, I know no one's happy with the two game losing streak going into Bob, but how do you like the position you're in? And do you feel like it's a, a team that can kind of get on a roll like maybe the 2019 team? Yeah, I mean, it's a great position, honestly. Uh, obviously, coming off the loss in, in the Patriots, you're kind of down, you're feeling bad. But I mean, even coming off the bye, we had the opportunity to be in first place in the AFC. So. You know, the sky's not falling, like I said. So we're in a great position. We have a great opportunity uh, ahead of us. And like I said, we just got to finish this year strong. I saw from my cause, my cleats, your support, and your, your family um, foundation. Obviously, you do a lot for the community. But the thing that stood out, you, you, you had said something about making sure that everyone gets the second chance they need. Can you right. just kind of elaborate on, on what that means and, and where that comes from? Yeah, it's just 
I've talked about it with my foundation, how we believe in just God's grace and uh, God's extended a lot of grace in me and my family's life. Uh, I feel like I've always had, you know, a second chance or just the number two, honestly, just in my life has meant a lot. Uh, being the second child in my family and uh, just having different chances as far as my high school career, college career and different things like that. Even talking about not getting invited to the combine and all that stuff. So I just believe that everybody deserves a second chance. You know, we all make mistakes or we all fall on hard times, but um, that's just what I try to accomplish with my foundation, just giving second chances and doing what I can to help out the community in as many ways as possible. And you'd like, you'd like the my calls, my cleats weekend, I mean, your senior cleats, and it's kind of been cool to see you here, the guys around the league take part. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I know a lot of guys around the league that's doing a lot of good things. I know Logan Ryan has his dog foundation. We're still really cool, really good buddies. Um, and obviously, you know, Derek being a Walter Payton man of the year, I'm definitely happy for him with that nomination. So I think it's a cool thing because, you know, it's a lot of negative stuff that goes on around the world, and especially with athletes and stuff like that. And um, to be able to highlight the positive things that guys are doing off the field uh, is a pretty cool thing. You kind of touched on Derek, but that's an award you won. Probably a lot of guys were candidates for that. Right. Have you seen him kind of grow since he's been here and done a lot in the community? Yeah, I mean, ever since me and Derek's been here, Derek has been just as involved in the community as I have been. Uh, obviously, he has his own foundation. He's doing things his way. Uh, but I think it's very cool that he's finally got the nomination as well. And I think that as long as me and Derek are, are on this team, we'll be definitely up for the running to be nominated uh, for the Walter Payton Man of the Year. So I'm definitely happy for him.